I wanted to do just a little short video on stress and its role in high blood pressure and pressure around the heart. I have a feeling this is not going to be a short video, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, stress hormones can contribute to high blood pressure. Cortisol directly increases blood, blood pressure, also blood sugar, by the way. Adrenaline, epinephrine directly increases blood pressure, okay? So stress does have an effect on the cardiovascular disease. Absolutely it does. And so stress management techniques are very important in terms of cardiovascular health, not just for mental health. So if you're finding that you're having some heart problems or you're having some blood pressure problems or plain old circulation problems, mm, maybe, it's, maybe you go and, and, okay, how can I, what do I wanna do? Do I want to implement a deep breathing strategy? Do I want to do some? Do I want to join a yoga studio? Do I want to go get some Tai Chi done at my local um, community health center? Um, do I want to do some guided meditations on YouTube? Do I want to go and talk to somebody about my problems? Do I want to start walking, blowing off some steam by going for a walk? You know these types of things. Stress management techniques, have, have a bunch of people in your back pocket if you can to help you in many different ways because absolutely stress hormones will affect the cardiovascular situation but also our body posture can affect things as well. Because when you, and you don't think about this, do you? How can I, how's my posture gonna, how does my posture have anything to do with my heart condition? Well, the thing about posture is that when we're in a tight guarded state, we're gonna be down and in, right? So we're gonna, we have, if we're like tense, right? Our chest is, is down and in, but look what it's pressing on. Where's the heart? The heart's right here, okay? So if that's being pressed down and in, the heart lives in there right? It's working in there. Like that's its office in there. <laughs> that rib cage is its office. And so if our rib cage is tight and tense and down and in, and our muscles are flexed, then the heart has less office space to do its job well. And all of a sudden you go, oh, well, if I, would, if I was pinned and cornered in my office with a tiny little computer, I, don't, I wouldn't do as good of a job than if I had this beautiful table in front of me with everything around me and my lunch right, right there, right? The heart's the same thing. And so what I want you to, to look at is look at stress, not just from a mental health point of view, but from a physical body point of view and a body position point of view because our organs need lots of space in there to do their job. So there's lots of things that can be done, which is why I love things like Tai Chi, love things like Tai Chi because we're doing these kinds of movements, right? We feel kind of silly. We're like, why are we doing all these things? Well, we're opening up our rib cage. <laughs> we're, we're repositioning our heart muscle so that it has plenty of space to do its flexing and releasing. <laughs> I think that everybody's way of stress management is going to be different. For example, some people can do deep breathing, things like butego breathing, vipassana breathing, and they do great with that. Other people, it actually makes it worse. And I've seen deep breathing make things worse. Absolutely, I have. What a great way to suppress our emotions. <sighs> right? Hold it in. <laughs> Sometimes we just have to blow off steam in a nonviolent way. <laughs> And in a safe way, in a way that's safe for ourselves as well as the people around us. Um, but when it comes to stress, you know, the more we hold stuff in, the more it's just going to swim around in there, right? So good long exhales are something I do value. I do like the good long exhales. And I like, I like the finger rubbing. I, I do like the finger rubbing. I do that, you'll see me do that sometimes. It's a habit now, but especially if I can hear it. I was actually, in a, I think that's, the story is, is that I was in a, one of my first little relaxation seminars that I had gone to and it was very early on and, and there's like 12 people in the room. It was dark, it was nice and the facilitator said, okay, everybody rub their fingers together. And we're like, what? 
rub your fingers together. But everybody, it's 12 people rubbing their fingers together. Sounds like rain. And it was the most soothing thing. It was wonderful. So I find just a little bit of rubbing my fingers together around my ears just reminds me to get back into my senses, get out of my head. Because oftentimes when we're way up in our head and we're think, 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 thinking, guess what? Our body's gonna be tense. Our rib cage is gonna be flexed backwards and downwards because our head's gonna be having all the attention. We're think, 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 and we're gonna push down and in. We're gonna be tense. And so by tuning into the senses, we kind of go, what's that? What is that? And we come forward. And then our heart gets a little more space in there. So it's just these tiny, tiny little stress management techniques that I find actually to be the most appropriate. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be like, go get your yoga pants on. It doesn't have to be anything. It could just be a flick of the finger around the ear and a flick of your hair intentionally so that you hear something just to get yourself out of your head for a second right could be taking a little bit of essential oil maybe a bit of lavender maybe a bit of rose these are herbs so be careful but but really all of a sudden chest came forward <laughs> oftentimes it's about heart position did i mention that <laughs> all right stress management is different for everybody so find what works for you, explore. And at the end of the day, when it comes to cardiovascular disease, try not to be too afraid of it because when we're in a state of fear that's not helpful, get curious, find a way to get curious. Feel empowered by it. Go, I, I got this, I'm gonna manage this. It's not gonna manage me, I'm gonna manage it. I'm gonna get curious about it, I'm gonna learn all about it so that I manage 